Okay, we're going to be brazing the tube to the, uh, the plate. We're using a pancake coil, small pancake coil, underneath the part. It'll take less heat off of the tube and we'll see how this works out. We're using uh, the door power 10 kilowatt, 400 kilohertz power supply. We're running at about 5 kilowatts of power or 50%. Power is on now. Flux is activating. Part is coming up to brazing temperature. Raises flood. Okay, this is part number two. Power is on now. First part I didn't have centered real well in the coil. This should be a little bit better. Coming up much more even this time. Braze alloy has flowed. That concludes our test. Heating the part underneath, you've got a much cleaner part. You've got a nice braze joint. It's still very clean on the bottom as well. Hey, okay, we're going to uh, use a pancake coil underneath the, uh, the brass housing. We're going to bring this up to brazing temperature. We'll use a uh, rod. To, this was a part that was previously soldered, uh, but we'll bring a uh, braze rod in to, uh, uh, to, to reflow and see what this looks like since we don't have any preforms. Power's on now. Let's see, flux is activating pretty quickly here. Too much heat into the bottom of this. Definitely to brazing temperature, you can see the when brazing these parts, it's probably still best to use an ID, uh, an ID coil, not an ID, a pancake coil over the top.
Okay, the previous test was run on our 10 kilowatt power supply. Uh, we ran that at 9 kilowatts of power from underneath the part. This one we're running on a 15, well, basically a 25 kilowatt power supply, but we're going to simulate a 15, running it at 12 and a half kilowatts of power. Um, running over the top uh, this time because because of the recesses that are in here, we're melting the edges. So we're better off going from the top. The power is on now. Part is starting to turn red. Raise that way is melting. That concludes the test.